Hello everyone! Oh my gosh, Rain! You're being so freaking cute! Did you guys see him? Oh, and he's just swimming around with Fox, his brother. Oh, look at these wolf pups, you guys! They're playing in the water, following their parents around, and basically being ridiculously adorable. Did you see their parent just, like, run by? <laughs> That's so cute! But welcome back to Wolf Wilds, my friends, our North American National Park, where we are doing our best to expand our success across the land, to be able to have the land be repopulated with wild wolves and the many animals that they rely on for a complete ecosystem. Uh, again, holy cow, how freaking adorable is this? Like, look at this! Can you believe we can just, like, sit right over here and we can just look at these really, really cute wolf pups? This is, this is too perfect. I love this. We need to go ahead and we need to get another shop for all of our guests to be able to visit that just focuses on like wildlife photography, uh, which is one of my passions, as you guys know. But all right, so welcome back, everyone. We are still going to be working on for quite a long time and hopefully, oh, and hopefully with great success. Yes, a Northern song where apparently we have gotten a pair of shorts. I think we had a proghorn born at some point just a second ago. Let me see those shorts. New shorts! I can't wait to get more clothes. I'm really excited about completing the Northern Song bronze, um, or the the Northern Song breeding at least uh, a bronze level animal for our North American Zoo. I, I think we just bred another one. Mackenzie, did you just give birth? Oh, I think, <gasps> I think this is how we managed to go up. Oh, thank you, little one. This is actually going to be Rosie. Another baby born into our proghorn areas, named after one of you guys. Heckin' is this? Oh my gosh! You guys! We just had an albino baby proghorn! I can't believe that! This one's actually going to be named Moonlight, after a name idea that Steph had. Heckin'! So those were the two new babies who just got us the shorts. I am extremely grateful for that. And I'm extremely grateful to see the populations really start spreading in our wild prairie. Yeah, the wild fields. We'll go ahead and rename it the wild prairie. Because we need to feed our wolves and soon our wolf pups will be growing up and that is the second time that we will have to randomize the random generator to see if their parents were able to hunt and help them to survive to adulthood. Uh, so Ren and Fox haven't made it 100% yet, friends. We got to keep a close eye on them. Also, I think I have a proghorn that might grow up soon who's technically not... Swindle! Swindle, you're supposed to be dead, friend, but I mean, you're still here. And I like the idea some of you guys have had to make another enclosure and kind of tuck the animals that died away. And we could just call that like a research facility. Uh, I think that's a good idea. So far, we only have Swindle who is having issues with that. So we'll have to see how things go. Uh, but all right. So today, friends, I actually wanted to work on making the wolf habitat a lot nicer for the wolves because when I came in to see what they think about it, they're actually feeling really stressed for the space. Somehow, they don't feel like they have enough space here. So we're going to try to expand the wolves' home. Uh, and I think it'd be really fun to maybe have it wrap around the mountain a little bit. And to let them, maybe not roam on top of the mountain. I actually think it'd be fun to let people come up and like maybe see them from up here. But maybe what we could do is we could have like a little tunnel over here. We can push back some of the mountain and give them like a, a little water area to splash in. A second spot where they could sleep, you know, where the mist and the ferns are so relaxing. Just like you can see in some of the North American forest. And the wolves could chill over there quite literally. Uh, oh, Swindle! Swindle, you're dead, but you're- oh my gosh, look at all those hungry hungry faces. I think we need to revamp this area too. But the wolves first. Alright, so let's get in here with the null barrier. And we're gonna expand it right here. Because I think it'd be fun for people to be able to see the wolves on this side too. And then we'll expand this. Yes, this'll do. And eventually we might make it so the wolves can even climb up the mountain a little bit. Because I think that could be quite fun. Um, and then let's take this off and this off. 
And now they have more area, but they won't be able to walk a lot of that. So we're going to need to move some rocks around. All right, well, we'll move... Well, okay, we'll risk moving these rocks really quickly. Fingers crossed the wolves aren't going to decide, like, hey, it's a good time to try to escape. All right, let's put these over here. Because that is an excellent spot. There we go. We'll go ahead and move this rock as well. And then down here, we can actually replace... Oh no, the barrier is not... Oh, it is complete. Phew. I was a little worried for a second there. We'll replace this with one-way glass that goes... Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I always forget how to tell the one-way glass, like, just behave yourself. Really? No, don't be like that. Oh, man. Alright, I'll figure it out. One-way glass, flat top, and edible bottom. That's what I wanted. Oi. Will you please... There we go. All of you, like, ah! I made a huge mess. <laughs> Alright. That's a little better. There we go. We'll just, we'll just live with that for now. We can always fix it later. Right now, like, it's wolf escape time if I don't hoof it. So, let's get some of these rocks in here. And we're gonna grab... Some of these big giant old rocks. Oh dear. Phew. Alright, got in there. Got in here. Yeah, where do you think you were going, buddy? I see. Oh, they like being up on top of the hill. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, no escaping. I think I just found... I, I kind of love the franticness of getting in here. With a few big old stones. Like, as quickly as you can. To be like, now, now, you guys don't need to try to, to get out of here. And actually, it would be really cool to make it so that there's some sort of shop up here. So people could come up. Ooh, and even one day so the wolves could come up to this spot. I would love that. All right, do you guys think you have enough space now? All right, come here, little one. Almost! <laughs> they still need a little bit more traversable area, and we will transform that in just a second. And I like the, the rain that we suddenly have, too. A waterfall would be really pretty. I always struggle to build even semi-convincing waterfalls, but I think a waterfall would be lovely to add in. Oh, look, and people are trying to see the wolf pups. All right, I do want people to eventually come up here, but it's not going to cost us much just to be like, come, friends. Enjoy the wolf pups over here. And while you're here, donate those dollars. Oh, and speaking of wolves and, and, like, people enjoying the wolves, we do need to actually put down some education spots about them. And more spots. Alright, I need more of these little educational outposts, please. Not the big giant rocks. Not the rocks! There we go. Alright, did- oh, wow. Okay, actually, it might be easier. There, phew. Oh, Swindle's matured! Alright, we need to get in there and tell Swindle, like, stop fighting with your dad, buddy. Alright, let's put this here. And dangerous fighting with the proghorn antelopes. Swindle, you can't... I thought they lit a fire for just a second, and I was so concerned. Alright, where's Swindle? Sorry, buddy. You're not actually supposed to be here, dude. Alright, we got him. And he's gonna be... Off you go to the wild. And then what do we have here? Oh! Oh my gosh, we've got pronghorn babies popping up left, right, and center, and it got us a shirt! Yes! We are going to make this national park so famous. Is that really a screaming bison shirt? That's a screaming bison shirt. That's fine. That's going to make the hat really interesting. I hope we have a hat. We'll try to get to gold level and, and just let the, the little proghorns keep going. All right. Uh, meanwhile, Veronica has just had a baby. Heckin', we're doing good. Why is this water treatment always inaccessible? I bet I need to put it into somebody's work zone. I need my mechanic to be in the work zone for it. All right, so the wolf pups can come over here. Let's carry on. I always get distracted from working on making their area better. 
Oh, and Aelin is already so old. I can't believe that our wolves have gotten so old so quickly. So traversable area. They can actually run up this hill. <gasps> That's so cool. Let's make them a little cave because they almost have enough space. But it still feels a little too small to them. So let's push inward. So they can have a bit more space here. And a little bit more space along here. There we go. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, but that looks kind of cool. But I love the idea of them having like a second den site that they can come over to. And let's smooth this out a little bit. Hmm. Okay, let's try roughening it. Oh, that's even better. Nice. No, not nice. Oh, no. Aelin, how did you lose so much space all of a sudden? What did I do? Ah, I made it so they couldn't reach this area. Okay, got to smooth this out then. Now what do you think, Aelin? There, now he's happier. Alright, and then let's actually smooth this out a little. So maybe he can reach this side. Alright, smooth, smooth, smooth. Almost. I had to learn these tricks with our jaguars. Like a little bit more and then a little bit more. All right, and if I do maybe flatten the foundation there and smooth that out. Ugh. There, oh, almost, almost. And now we have overcrowding from too many proghorns? Is it because some of them matured? Ah, okay, that ruined whatever we had going here. Okay, close enough. <laughs> All right, we still need to do some more expansions for... I guess we'll have to wait, because actually if, if the wolves mature and we have some injured proghorns, then that's going to have a big impact on, like, proghorn health. So we'll have to see. Ooh, you know what? While we wait, we will eventually have people, like, walk up here. But let's actually see if I can get the wolves a nice spot up here as well where they can like walk up to this side of the mountain. We'll have to make sure they don't climb off the mountain, but yeah, we'll have to eventually get people like a way to walk up here so that they can see the interior of the mountain because I want them to like come into this side. And we're gonna make Wolf Mountain a little bit more interesting as a result. <laughs> it's not very, it has a lot of holes in it. It's more like Wolf Swiss cheese than Wolf Mountain now. But we'll we'll cover it with all sorts of fun spots. All right, let's see. Can I get the wolves up there? Did that expand your zone? Because that'd be really cool. I would... Yes! Woo! Look at all that! That's going to be so nice for them. And eventually we'll have a little section where people can, like, come up on a bridge. Maybe we can make them climb the dreaded, like blending into the rock bridge yet again and they can have a trail coming right over here where we have a little shop that's just gonna have a whole bunch of information about the wolves yay all right well that's done and we want to work on their food enrichment and we want to work on their toy enrichment and increase their nutrition because come on the wolves are kind of like one of our main drivers for this place so we want to keep them happy let's increase the money we're bringing in there and let's find things to make the wolves happy i think they're tired of their old toy for their food so we're going to replace that timber 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 there we go timber wolf enrichment items food blueprints off all right so they're more or less either bored or done or need more enrichment items for the dog ball so let's add in the pinata enrichment <laughs> I wish we could change the name on the pinata enrichment, but we can add in the pinata enrichment and we can just consider this like the the buffalo and the antelope. There we go. Yay, I did it! Now we're going to have much happier wolves. We just need to make sure that they're being fed the best of what we've got to offer. Grade 3 food quality. There we go. Yay! All right. Let's continue sprucing up their area because the wolf pups will grow up who knows when. And I want this place to look nice for them when they do age up. So we can take a little moment 
to kind of tuck the rocks in, make this place look a little bit more appropriate for as cool as it's supposed to be. All right, this will remove some of where they could have walked, but that's okay. Also, I really hope I didn't just give them an escape route. We'll check on that in just a second. <laughs> Yay, and Lily's having offspring! Heck, guys! Oh, and look at the pups! They are so freaking adventurous. Okay, good. No escape route over here. Yay, the proghorn antelopes are having more babies. Oh, I really like that look. Here, let's actually tuck this on top. And so it makes their den look a little bit more like an overgrown spot here. That's really cool. Can they still get up though? All right, where's a pup? There's a pup. Grab a pup. Oh, if we do that, they can't get up there. Yeah, gotta be a little more careful. We'll just put some trees down there. Same diff. All right, we'll have to check on our offspring, like, from the prog horns in just a second, because I feel like we are just rolling in babies right now, which is fan-freaking-tastic. Um, and let's scoot this over just a little. I love that look. That's so cool. We can even remove some of these rocks if we need to so that the pups can still get up here. All right. And then hopefully, can they get through the rose bushes? I'm not sure if they can, but if we remove those rose bushes, it should be fine. I am a big fan of twisty pines. Apparently, we need to put in the educational speakers. <gasps> and we should put down some big pine trees that have like bird song and stuff in them. Oh, and we definitely need to add in another place for them to rest. All right, let's get another, whoops, I didn't want that. I want another spot for their beds. Oh, it's really touching to know that they've got like their elder parents who are pretty old to be honest, just doing their best to like raise their pups and establish this little wolf pack that we have made in their old years. All right, that unfortunately took away some of my terrain. But we can fix that. There we go. And then maybe push it a little bit from the bottom. There! A nice little extra den for everyone. Smooth that out some. And we'll blend it in a little bit better by grabbing some ferns and by putting in a nicer terrain. Where's our soil? Let's get like some heavy soil in here. And then up top too. You know where they can they can come up here we'll have little trails that represent like where the wolves walk then we need some soil back here and we actually want to put some rocks oh yeah that looks so much better put some heckin rocks on this mountain why don't we oh looking good all right i mean look how much better that looks just like coming down and being like by the way you're supposed to be a rock excellent Excellent, excellent. All right, let's widen that. Wolf Mountain, you're looking so much better. There we go. And maybe if we can do some like soil mixed in. We'll get it eventually, friends. This nice kind of blend. All right, let's get more rock in here because that's what we would have. And then we'll get a little bit of soil in here too. And we'll have, of course, some lovely, lovely ferns in some spots where, you know, there's some soil and grass. But the wolves really prefer, like, this more open area, too. We can have just, like, a few little patches. There we go. Let's do dark soil there. Excellent! Nice! And then if we roughen this edge... Not quite what I had in mind, but it did, it did something. We tried it. <laughs> I think we'll roughen the edge with some actual rocks and some ferns and things in just a second. Because that looks so funky. <laughs> oh my goodness. It looks like a weird turtle. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll keep it up. But Wolf Mountain is really looking a lot better already. Heck, that's fantastic. 
And I want to put down some more of these decorations where the people are. So we can start adding in more of a forest, which just completes my heart. And this is very much how I'm used to seeing it, not in the northwest, but honestly more in the northeast. When we're up in the Appalachian Mountains, these boulders are everywhere. Because in the mountains, you really have a lot of evidence of those glacial days that a lot of the U.S. mountains were sculpted by. And that's one of the things I really love. Let's see, how can we put this tree right over here? And that's just so, it's very iconic if you ever visit the Appalachian Mountains. You get up there and you just have huge boulders everywhere. And they're covered in moss and lichen. You step over them in the middle of paths. You climb up and down them. They have ladders like put into the side of the, the boulders sometimes that you have to climb up or down. I freaking love it. It's just very, very much like you would expect to see giant boulders like this with plants all over them, all over certain parts of the US. So it just feels completely correct. All right, meanwhile, we have dangerous fighting due to a imbalanced sex ratio amongst the prog horns. But we'll have to see, it may be that the wolves, I thought they'd mature by now, to be honest. It may be that the wolves are about ready to eat again and whoever's fighting over here is going to find themselves distracted and vulnerable to becoming prey for the wolves. But all right, we're doing great. I'm really proud about redoing Wolf Mountain. We still have several more steps to do. I do wanna to try to get some people up on top of the mountain at some point, but for now, it's just really good to start making it look nice and we'll figure out a cool way to start making the bottom part of it look nice. Oh, and we do need to get more prey and more North American animals in for the sake of the continuation of the challenge that we are slowly but surely working our way up with the Northern Song. So next time I'm going to try to remember to bring in another North American animal. We are making quite a bit of money and we can afford to do that now. Hopefully we can have in maybe a grizzly bear. I have to see what all of the North American animals really are um, for what we've got to choose from. And we'll add in some new exhibits. I'm looking forward to a squirrel exhibit, AKA a red panda. That'd be really adorable. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our wonderful wolf pups who are slowly but surely growing up in this new world. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.